Hey guys, welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Kevin. This is my wife Rachel, my daughter Kaya. And today we have something in the shop. If you watched our last video, we're gonna we're gonna, we got some plants that we're gonna get started in the shop, but we're gonna do it a little different. We're gonna use a hydroponic system. We also have some strawberries that are coming up from uh, spreading. They're uh, runners, whatever you want to call that. It's coming up through our mulch. So we're gonna go pick some of those plants. We're gonna show you guys how to. Uh, plant them in a hydroponic system. We're gonna do this inside our shop and we got a water, we got a tote we're gonna fill with water, we got an irrigation pump, all that good stuff, we're gonna talk about it. But uh, what do you think? You ready to start planting? You ready to go plant and learn yeah. some stuff? Yeah. So we're new to the hydroponics. Uh, like I said in my last video, keeping it Dutch is already, he has a pretty much, oh, I guess you could say a similar setup. It's a little different uh, look, but it's the same exact thing. He has the same pump, all that type of stuff. And uh, we're gonna experiment a little bit. We don't have a lot of stuff to plant in it. We're gonna plant some cabbage, some, uh, we might do some cauliflower, maybe some lettuce. And then we got some seeds we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna try to plant because when you go to buy these things in the store, these plants are like a dollar to $2 a piece. And that's, that's not cost effective. Cause if you think about buying a, uh, one little cabbage plant for two ninety eight, I think it was at Lowe's. Mm -hmm. You can go to the store and buy a, a head of cabbage for like eighty eight cents. So what we're gonna do is plant some seeds in a starter kit. Uh, we're gonna get some of this dirt and then some of this horse manure that we mixed in our raised beds last week, and use that as our uh, potting soil and see if we can't raise our own plants from seed. And that will be very cost efficient. That way, if we want to just keep growing lettuce and cabbage or whatever in the hydroponic system in the shop we can. So uh, we're gonna head to the shop and get started on this. What do you got, Sissy? Uh, one of our new chickens. This one's the smallest one of them Aww. all. And it's really cute. Oh. Kaya's filthy. Her and her brother have been playing outside today and making a fort out in the woods. Uh-huh, and also, if it's not copperhead season, um, we might be able to stay tonight there because it will block us from the rain because guess what? We built like a whole entire thing where we could sleep and have dinner. Hmm. You're uh -huh. little fort. Uh -huh. And also we have a couch made mm -hmm. of moss. <laughs> that sounds fun. All right guys, so here is our hydroponic system. We got one, two, three, four tiers of the PVC pipe that holds I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cups. So eight times eight, you got 64 holes that you can have a plant. And these are the little baskets you put them in. And I'll show you guys the medium or the little clay balls you can put in there. Uh, I don't know. This, we're new to this, so we're just going to do some trial stuff. We're going to plant some plants. This thing came shipped in a box. Really a small box, which I was surprised. But it was very easy to put together. Had the instructions, everything. Got it all put together. Got the pump in here. We got this tote, which is just a barely too tall. So I, I'm gonna have to put some extra boards under the legs just to keep it on level. Um, we'll go ahead and get some of these plants started. We're going to, like I said, we're gonna have to experiment. Um, we got these plants. We're gonna try to figure out how to wash the roots out because this is this requires no dirt. You pretty much put liquid fertilizer in this tote and the pump circulates it all and it runs back and forth through all these pipes, drains back in and it keeps it going. We're gonna put it on a timer. We're gonna experiment with that. I still gotta mount my grow lights and all that as well. So we're gonna try to get this figured out today. What you got, sissy? A bucket of water. That's really heavy. shop is still a disaster as always so sorry guys for the mess <laughs> it's always a disaster yeah we never clean it we clean it all the time and daddy junks it back up yep yep i don't know if you can see that way out there somebody's on top of that tree it's i think it's the buck hercules yeah Hercules. Yeah, I think that's Hercules. I got another bucket full. 
of five gallons of water. I'm going to go ahead and dump in here. Because that's one thing you don't want to happen is you don't want the pump to run dry because it will burn it up. That is going to be for the vegetables. Oh. So we're going to try to figure this out. So we're going to set this right here. Okay. And we're not going to put all these in the hydroponics. Some of these we're going to plant in the ground. Um, let's go ahead and plug this in. Yes. So basically right now I just got an extension cord ran over here because I don't have an outlet. And the pump has these little suctions on the bottom of it. You just want to make sure it's pushed down all the way. Right here. I got it plugged in and it'll take a little bit for the water to kick up to the top. And the way this thing is designed. Right here. All right, let's get back and I'm gonna explain this. All right guys, so the way this is designed, the pump pushes the water up this clear tube here and it goes back and forth and it goes down these pipes, fills yeah. up, goes down just mm -hmm. like that. And then it drains right back in there and it just keeps going. You don't want to do this 24 seven. So we're going to put it on a timer for like maybe 10 minutes at a time just to get some fresh water and nutrients going. Uh -huh. So uh, we'll kind of talk about that as we go. Like I said, we're still new to this. We're trying to learn as well. But right now we're going to get some of these plants and we are going to try to figure out how to get the dirt off the roots so we can go ahead and put these things in there. Yeah. All right. So when you're taking these out, this is just romaine lettuce. Mm -hmm. There was only two left at Lowe's, and if I would have been smart, I would have just planted some seeds and had these already ready. So you want to kind of squeeze it like that sure. till it breaks up the roots so the dirt's not hard. That way when we pull it out, mm -hmm. see, we don't want to break it. See all those white things? Uh -huh. You know what that is? Uh-huh. What? It is the, um... That's the roots. Yeah. So we're going to make a little bit of a mess. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna save some of the soil and we can put it in our, in our seed starting kit. But we don't want to tear up any of the roots. No. Just kind of do this right here, get some of that. We don't want to kill the, the plant. Right. Okay, and then we're gonna stick it down in the water. Yes. And guys, if there's an easier way to do this, or I'm doing something wrong, let us know down in the comments. I'm yes. sure some of you are professionals at hydroponics <laughs> and are sitting here laughing at me. Well, we're gonna have to get several different buckets of clean water. Why don't water. you just take them out to the water hose and gently rinse them off? Oh, maybe. Maybe. That'd be easier. Probably. I just don't want to hurt it. Yeah, we don't want to kill the roots. Right. That's well, important. It will die. So I don't know if this is gonna be a problem. Uh, still got a little bit of sediment and stuff like that in the roots. I don't know if it's going to be a problem to the pump or not. It looks like it has a little screen on it where the water intake is, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Well, why don't you set those aside and I can go clean those in the water hose? Okay, you can do that. Okay, there's one. And Maybe I could do one. You want to do that one? Yeah. What, what does that say that is? Can you read that? Cauliflower. All right, so this one's going to be different. So this one is not round. It's going to be really easy. Okay, go ahead and take it over to the water. All right. It's kind of be real easy like this. Watch. Kind of just do this so uh -huh. we can save some of this dirt around the top of it. Mm -hmm. So there's not really any roots right there. Okay. Now you can kind of hold it right here and just dip it easy in there. Dip it in this. Oh. Just kind of dip it in there, let it get wet. Okay. We don't want to kill any of the right. roots. Right, it might be kind of hard. Kind of Alright, you try it. Kind of break it up like that. Yeah. Because all the roots are holding all that dirt together. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how well that's going to work. The roots are very good and it's very important. That's how, that's how a plant gets its nutrients to the root. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so we're out here at the water hydrant. And I don't want to do it too hard. I'm going to turn it down. Here, hold this for me. Mm -hmm. 
This is the first one we did. We'll just kind of rinse it off. Try to get as much of that out as possible without breaking or tearing up the roots. Yeah, and it really stinks. Does it? Yeah. This water's cold. Like, when I smell this, it stinks. Yeah, it's dirty. But it's just me. It's probably got cow manure in it. Yeah. All right. There's that one. Hand me, hand me that little plant. All right, guys. So we got our baskets here. The little plastic baskets that fit in all these little holes. We got our root washed off. And now we got some clay pebbles here. And what this is, is just little clay pebbles. And you put these in a basket and it kind of holds your roots down. So I've already, these little, these little clay, these little plastic cages have a little slot down in the middle, that little circle there. What I did is these existing roots, I kind of fished it through that circle and just pulled it down. And now what I'm going to do is, oops, drop one. I'll get it. I'm just going to put some of these little pebbles all around this plant and what it will do is hold that plant down to where the water don't wash it off, wash it away, or uh, like pick it up. Alright, so just like that you can see you got those clay pebbles in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the first slot. And I don't know if you're supposed to... Um, if, if it's okay to trim the roots or not, it's a little crooked, but it'll be fine. It should grow up straight once we get the lights in there. All right, guys, so this here is liquid fertilizer. It is uh, made by Fox Farm Soil and Fertilizer Company. It's called Grow Big Instant Concentrate Liquid Plant Food. And for new seedlings, it says uh, half a teaspoon per gallon. We got about 10 gallons in there, so we'll do, oh, we'll do like five teaspoons maybe let's do five capsules how about that yeah one two kind of mix it around three four and then five all right and uh we'll probably add that about once a week and we'll see how they do yeah um all this stuff I bought on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description down below where you can get this. This whole system here, this whole setup with the PVC pipe and then this fertilizer as well and the clay pebbles. Alright. So here we got some broccoli we're going to plant. And we got cabbage and cauliflower. And we want to face them about 18 inches according to the tag. So we're going to kind of break this all up a little bit. Can you tell? Yep, you can start doing this a little bit. Which way? That one? Well, it don't matter. Just kind of stick it in there and do this. Just kind of turn it around and loosen the soil up. Alright, that should be good. Kind of level it back out. never planted broccoli before. Kind of break our roots up. Okay guys, we got the cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, and all our onions planted in this one raised bed here. And we don't do any particular, like, I don't know, we just kind of planted 
however many rows, like five inches of spacing between each plant of onion. And we have broccoli. And on our uh, cabbage, broccoli, broccoli and cauliflower is all about 18 inches apart. And we got the irrigation lines. This was our cucumber bed last year. Yeah. So what I had is that cattle panel right down the middle. And then I had the irrigation lines on each side of the plants. So this year I'll have to add two more irrigation lines on this one. And that will water these beds. So now I'm going to show you guys something. This is our strawberry bed from last year. We planted last year in yeah. May or so. And look at this. These are all little volunteers that are coming up from the runners. Yeah, this one's blooming. That spread out. So what we're going to do. That one's blooming, Dad. A little flower on it. Yeah. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig some of these up and go put them in the hydroponic system in the shop and see if we can't grow some strawberries inside yeah all right guys we have i don't know if i picked 20 or 30 of these strawberry crowns and these are all just volunteers from the runners that went down into the mulch and they just kind of rooted and i don't know how they started growing but they did and they got really nice root system on them so what we're going to do is try to kind of twist them here where i can stick hopefully Oh, it's kind of hard. I'm gonna stick roots. Eh. They're all different lengths. I might need to cut them with scissors. But I was trying to leave them full length. If we could just get the majority of them, there we go. There's a blue one. Just on like this that. One. And then we'll take our clay pebbles and stick around and I'll kind of hold it in there and I think I'm just going to put them on the second tier I don't really have any other plants to plant right now we can always move them because it is just roots it ain't like they're in the soil but uh there's not really much to it like I said we got 20 or 30 of these things to plant and there you go we're going to start putting them right here in the water and um as soon as we get done doing this I uh, probably won't show it in this video, but I'm going to try to hang an LED light. I got a couple of grow lights, but I think I'm just going to try an LED light for now and see how that works. Okay, guys. So uh, we pretty much got everything done that we wanted to do out here. We got the hydroponics set up done. We got the light mounted. We got the cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, and onions planted in our raised bed. Kai and Rachel helped me on that. Um, this right here, we, got our, we went ahead and got the LED hooked up. And that is a 400K temperature light. I'm not really sure what we need to have for like fruit bearing stuff, if it needs to be a higher number or a lower uh, light temperature. But we got 31 or 32 strawberry plants. Look at this. This is all volunteer crowns from our raised bed over there. This stuff was growing on the ground in the mulch. And uh, man, that's awesome. Hopefully we can do something with this. Hopefully they'll uh, produce some fruit. We got some romaine lettuce and one cauliflower just to see what happens. But I'm pretty pumped about it. I think it's going to work out good if everything grows good and produces. Um, I'm going to get some just mixed lettuce and start planting right here, which we're going to start from seed. And that way you come out here, cut what you want off for dinner or whatever, make a salad, and then it'll just regrow. So hopefully this is a uh, positive thing that we can do here. We can grow in our shop, but don't take very much. Uh, we do have solar battery bank over there if we need it. You know, if for some reason the power goes out, we can still grow stuff in our shop. Hook it up. I'm going to put a timer on this pump and on the light. I'm going to do a little more research and see how often most people have this pump kick on and actually circulate the water. Uh, I got 20 gallons in here, and I think it'll hold about 7 more gallons in this tote, so I can almost have 30 gallons of water in there and that should last a long time and one thing you want to make sure of i do know on this is you want to make sure you got a lid on here and a dark container to keep your water in that way the uv lights and everything doesn't grow no algae inside your deal and it'll kind of keep it clean but i think eventually this is going to get algae in it so we'll just have to do our best to keep it clean but anyways we are tired we've worked outside literally literally all day, all day. And uh, I'm super dirty. Still got the same clothes on I've had in a couple videos. <laughs> this is still the same day. We made like three videos a day. We've been busy. We've had lots of projects and many, many more to go. Yeah, tomorrow if the weather's cooperating, 
we're going to try to enjoy the rest of the weekend and try to get some more stuff done, get some more of the fencing done. Hopefully, I need to do a count on how many T-posts I need to go get from Tractor Supply and get the fencing, and then hopefully we can get that done. I need to paint the screen door. Yeah, Rachel's going to try to paint the screen door on I just the... finished washing it. So we don't have the wire on the screen door yet because we're waiting to get it painted. And once she gets it painted, then we'll put the wire on there. But yep. so far, the chickens have not figured out how to get through there, so... Maybe, been, don't, maybe we don't need no wire. They've been eyeballing it pretty, <laughs> have. pretty hard. Now that we got plants in there, they're going to try, I bet. So anyways, guys, you got anything to say? We appreciate you guys joining us. Always, as always, leave comments down below. We like interaction, positive yes. interaction. Yep. <laughs> Bring it, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't pick at us too hard. Yeah. So, like I said, we're new at this, so don't uh, don't beat us up. Give us some positive feedback. Yeah, if you guys know tips. anything about this, let us know because we are open to. This is just another way we're trying to grow some fresh greens quickly in our shop. Um, you guys know the circumstances at the grocery stores and stuff. All our grocery stores around here, there's no produce, and it's still a little early to be planting the main garden outside, but we can have lettuce and all that. So mm -hmm. we're gonna do that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.